it's almost like a, a therapy when when everything in life is getting really loud and hectic and stressful to just spend a couple of hours at the drawing board to switch off ignore everything else that's going on and just draw and you can just focus on that one thing just for a, a few hours put a podcast on listen to some music and it's just enjoyable that way I'm Simon Ross. I'm a RAF reservist with 7644 Squadron. Uh, I'm also an ambulance driver and in my spare time I do military drawings. All the drawings, all the artwork, it started at school. So probably about 15 years ago doing A-levels and things like that. I always used to do a lot of drawing, uh, all pencil drawings. But there was a moment where it just sort of, there was a spark and I knew what I was doing, I thought this is something I, I love. So I stuck with it and I've been drawing ever since. I think it was from living in Lincolnshire and seeing the Lancaster flying around, the Red Arrows, more recently the Typhoons, seeing all those things all the time. You, you just have to love it, you can't ignore it. <laughs> As a child, uh, my granddad used to take me to East Kirkby to see the Lancaster there. And that is just an amazing machine, even for grown-ups. So as a kid, it was just inspiring. And I remember would go home and just grab some paper and some colouring pencils and just draw it. It wouldn't be very good because I was a child, but that, that is probably where it all started. And I was always encouraged to carry on, even times where I think I'm not really into drawing, I want to try something else. The people around me, my family, my friends would always tell me, keep doing this because there's something special. So this drawing behind me took around 30 hours to do. It's the longest I've spent on one drawing and obviously not all in one go, I'd usually work two hours at a time. It's, it's a huge sense of relief when a drawing's finished. Um, when I'm drawing, I get so close to the paper because I'm making the detail so intricate and small that I don't actually see what I'm doing for the most part of the process. So to put the pencil down and then step back and be like, wow, I've just drawn that. It's like I get to see it for the first time as well any opportunity to draw planes that's what I'd do. <laughs> there were plenty of times where I thought I'd probably stop drawing because you think oh this isn't very good what's the point in carrying on but when the people around you saying this is good you should finish it do another drawing keep going I'll always spend as long as it takes to get a drawing right If you enjoyed watching that, then definitely check out Simon's own YouTube channel, which is Paper Planes Gallery. Next up for us, we're heading to Bomber Harris's office. <laughs>